What's up everyone? Just doing a quick and easy tutorial today. I don't do too many tutorials, but I definitely did watch a lot of YouTube videos um, before when I was starting off in Pro Tools, so I figured I might as well give back to the community and I'm sure someone will probably appreciate this. Um, if you're someone that also has a quicker way to do it, I'm sure there's probably a lot of quicker and easier ways. I'd love to hear your um, your input in the comment below. But basically here we are today, we have a kick track down here and it was pretty much in, not usable. The recording engineer did not get a good uh, kick sound so I have to sample replace that kick with, um, with, with these samples. So it's fine though because I'm going to get an even better sound now that I have the um, uh, the three different samples I got a basically I got a, a deep uh, I have a deep um, body I have an, an attack and then I kind of got like a nice little mid-range in here so basically um, all you really need to do is create a group um, so in this case situation I created a kick group so in this kick group I have um, I have four tracks now why four tracks when I'm pasting three samples? Well, it's because I took the original kick track, leaving that alone. I'm actually not even going to use it, but I duplicated it, and then I muted out all of the clips. So basically, the only thing I'm using this for is to tab to transient. So in, to in Pro Tools, you um, you can you can tab, you can press the tab key, and then it'll basically tab to each transient, which is really cool. So um, again, what I did was I created a group. You can do that by hitting Control G, or in this case, I already had a kick group, so I just went into the corner here, and you can click on Modify. I'm using Pro Tools 12 right now. So here are my three kick samples, and here is that duplicated kick right here. It's all in here. You want to mix and edit group, or you could play around with that, but I like mix and edit. I just always use that. Um, and so then once you have that there, really easy, if, as long as you have it in uh, this mode, I forgot what it's called right now, but who cares, this is just a quick and dirty tutorial. All you gotta do is hit your tab button, once you've um, basically copied, you know, because once you click on this, all of them will be selected. So all you have to do from this point is tab the transients, and once you hit the transients, you just hit V, that simple. So literally that's all you have to do and you could, you know, basically get really nice kick sounds. I like to have the um I like to have the original kick, the one that we're not even going to use below the other one uh, just because I I found in the past if you, if you, you know, if you have it and you need it and you start tabbing things and you god forbid you go in shuffle mode, you can start you know, getting things all screwed up. So whenever I do anything in Pro Tools like that, I always like to make sure that I just make a duplicate, mute it, and then we can just bomb it later on. But another really important thing to know is you wanna make sure that you go ahead and, and fade all of your tracks once you're, once you're done. So especially if it's like a double kick or something in the middle, I like to pull it back a little bit, make sure you don't get any clipping sounds or nothing like that. So that's basically it. You can blend it to taste and uh, hope this helps. If you are an advanced Pro Tools user, feel free to leave a comment to another way to do this. Again, this is just a quick and dirty. Uh, didn't use screencast or nothing, just something real fast to give back to the community. Hope it helps and keep creating.